Yo, what's up everybody, it's Ruben, and I'm stoked to take you on a trip with me, virtually at least. We're going to India, a country I've been dying to explore for years. The colors, the culture, the history, it's just incredible. This is your ultimate travel guide, packed with insider tips and must-see spots. From the majestic Taj Mahal to the tranquil backwaters of Kerala, we're covering it all. Before we jump into this adventure, do me a solid and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming travel videos. Now, let's discover India. Alright, let's kick things off with the crown jewel of India, the Taj Mahal. This place is unreal. Pictures just don't do it justice. The scale, the intricate details, the sheer beauty of this white marble masterpiece is mind-blowing. We're talking about a monument built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal. The story goes that she died during childbirth and he was so heartbroken that he poured his soul into creating this breathtaking mausoleum. I'm talking 22 years of construction, with over 20,000 artisans brought in from all over the world. They used the finest white marble, inlaid with precious stones, to create these intricate floral patterns and calligraphy. You guys, it's no wonder this is one of the seven wonders of the world. Walking through the gardens, seeing the reflection of the Taj and the reflecting pools, it's like stepping into a fairy tale. But here's a pro tip, get there early, like, really early, trust me. You don't want to be battling crowds of tourists when you're trying to soak in this magical place. The best time to visit is during sunrise or sunset when the light hits the marble just right and it glows with these incredible colors. Honestly, it's worth waking up early for. And while you're there, make sure to explore the surrounding gardens and mosque. They're all part of the Taj Mahal complex and add to the whole experience. This is one of those places that will stay with you long after you've left. It's a testament to the power of love, loss, and the incredible artistry of the Mughal era. Next up, we're heading to Jaipur, the pink city. Get ready for a sensory overload because Jaipur is a whirlwind of colors, sounds, and smells. It's known as the pink city because, well, most of the buildings are painted this vibrant shade of pink. The story goes that they painted the city pink to welcome a royal visit back in 1876, and it kind of stuck. But hey, it works. It gives the city this unique charm and energy. Now Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan, and it's steeped in history and culture. We're talking magnificent palaces, bustling bazaars, and some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. First things first, you gotta visit the Amber Fort. This massive fort sits high on a hilltop overlooking the city and it's an absolute stunner. You can ride an elephant up to the main gate, which is pretty epic, or take a jeep if you're short on time. Inside you'll find courtyards, palaces, temples, and these incredible views of the surrounding area. Another must-see is the Hawa Mahal, also known as the Palace of Winds. This iconic five-story building has all these small windows designed to let in the breeze, keeping it cool even in the scorching desert heat. And you can't go to Jaipur without experiencing the bazaars. These bustling marketplaces are a feast for the senses, with vendors selling everything from spices and textiles to jewelry and handicrafts. Make sure to bargain hard, it's all part of the fun! I managed to snag some beautiful scarves and spices for a steal. Jaipur is a city that will stay with you long after you've left. It's a place where history, culture, and chaos collide in the most beautiful way possible. Up next, we're escaping the hustle and bustle and heading to the tranquil backwaters of Kerala. Get ready to unwind and reconnect with nature because the Kerala backwaters are like a different world. Imagine tranquil canals, lush green landscapes, and traditional houseboats gliding peacefully through the water. It's the perfect antidote to the chaos of city life. These backwaters are a network of interconnected canals, lakes, and lagoons stretching over 900 kilometers along the Malabar coast, and the best way to experience it is by renting a houseboat. These traditional boats called ketavalams are made entirely of natural materials like bamboo and coir, and they've been used for centuries for transporting goods and people. But now, they're transformed into these cozy floating homes, complete with bedrooms, bathrooms, and even a kitchen where a local chef will whip up some delicious Keralan cuisine for you. Imagine cruising along the canals, watching the sun rise over the water, surrounded by nothing but the sounds of nature. It's the ultimate relaxation experience. You can spend your days exploring the villages along the backwaters, visiting ancient temples, or simply relaxing on the deck of your houseboat, soaking in the scenery. Keep an eye out for the local wildlife too. You might spot kingfishers, otters, and even the occasional crocodile basking in the sun. One of the coolest things about the backwaters is the slow pace of life. It's like time slows down here, and you can truly disconnect from the outside world and just be present in the moment. If you're looking for a peaceful and rejuvenating escape, look no further than the Kerala backwaters. It's an experience that will stay with you long after you've returned to dry land. 
Now get ready for a completely different vibe as we venture to Varanasi, one of the holiest cities in India. Hold on tight, because Varanasi is not for the faint of heart. This is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, and it's a place of intense spirituality, vibrant rituals, and a raw, unfiltered look at life and death. Located on the banks of the sacred Ganges River, Varanasi is considered the holiest city for Hindus. They believe that bathing in the Ganges washes away their sins, and that dying here liberates them from the cycle of reincarnation. Walking through the narrow alleys of Varanasi is an experience unlike any other. You'll encounter pilgrims performing ancient rituals, cows wandering freely, and the smell of incense filling the air. It's chaotic, it's overwhelming, but it's also incredibly powerful. You can feel the weight of history and spirituality in every corner. One of the most moving experiences you can have in Varanasi is witnessing the sunrise from the Ganges. Hundreds of people gather on the ghats, the steps leading down to the river, to bathe, pray, and offer offerings to the rising sun. It's a beautiful and humbling sight, and it gives you a glimpse into the deep faith that permeates this city. Another must-do is taking a boat ride along the Ganges at dawn. You'll see the city come alive as people perform their morning rituals. And you'll get a different perspective on the ghats and the cremation ceremonies that take place there. It's a powerful reminder of the cycle of life and death and the beliefs that have shaped this city for centuries. Varanasi is not your typical tourist destination. It's a place that will challenge you, move you, and stay with you long after you've left. It's a raw and unfiltered experience of India's spiritual heart. Ready for some sun and sand? Let's finish our journey in Goa, India's beach paradise. Okay, after the intensity of Varanasi, it's time to unwind on the beaches of Goa. This former Portuguese colony is a melting pot of cultures with a laid-back vibe, stunning coastline, and a vibrant nightlife scene. Think palm-fringed beaches, turquoise waters, delicious seafood, and a touch of European flair. It's the perfect place to relax, soak up the sun, and enjoy the slower pace of life. Goa has something for everyone. Whether you're looking to party all night, explore ancient forts and churches, or simply relax on the beach with a good book, you'll find it here. For those who love to party, North Goa is the place to be. Baga and Kalangute beaches are famous for their beach parties, live music, and buzzing nightlife. If you're looking for something more laid back, head to South Goa. Here you'll find quieter beaches, luxury resorts, and a more relaxed atmosphere. Palalam Beach is a personal favorite, with its crescent-shaped bay, swaying palm trees, and bohemian vibe. But Goa is not just about beaches. Take some time to explore the state's rich history and culture. Visit Old Goa, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and check out the Basilica of Bomb Jesus, a 16th-century church that houses the relics of St. Francis Xavier. For a taste of local life, head to one of the many markets. Mapusa Friday Market is a must-visit, with its vibrant stalls selling everything from spices and textiles to handicrafts and fresh produce. Goa is a place where you can truly let your hair down and embrace the good life. So grab a coconut, kick back, and enjoy the Goan vibe. That's a wrap on our whirlwind tour of India. So there you have it guys, a glimpse into the incredible diversity and beauty of India. From the majestic Taj Mahal to the tranquil backwaters of Kerala, India has something to offer every traveler. I hope this video has inspired you to add India to your travel bucket list. Let me know in the comments down below which place you're most excited to visit. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more travel adventures, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Until next time, happy travels!